Yo, what up guys? I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop. And this is my first impressions look on the Peak AW1 or Andrew Wiggins signature shoe with Peak. So this shoe is retailing for 130 bucks. So if you guys do want to cop, I try to leave a link in the description box. But let's get to start off with the Tractiones. And uh, yeah, as far as the traction pattern goes, we have a pretty interesting traction pattern because it's pretty dope. It's made up of Andrew Wiggins kind of like logo. And it's going throughout the entire outsole and it's they're going perpendicular to each other kind of like a chest piece but also it's like it makes a square right so uh i feel like it's a very creative outsole and it's also like a semi-translucent rubber with some like pink and blue speckles in it which that, that looks pretty damn sick as well but how does the traction feel guys I was very surprised. It feels really, really damn good. I mean, okay, so just trying it on my wood floors, of course, the finish and all that and the wood that they use on my wood floors is different than the wood on actual basketball courts. But just trying it on my wood floors, it feels really, really good. It has a nice, really, really hard stop, which I like. Now, of course, we'll have to see on performance on dust, however. But as far as like the, the, the bite codes, it feels really good. It feels top tier right now, which is kind of insane. Um, so yeah, and also has a nice loud high pitched squeak. Not super loud, but it's 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 quite loud, right? So I do like that as well. Of course, it has nothing to do with performance, but I like to have a nice squeak. As far as the durability goes, durability feels like it's gonna be pretty good. Uh, the grooves don't seem uh, very thick or deep. Also, like, not a whole lot of surface area, but the rubber is, like, on the harder side of things. So, I feel like it's not the best option, but also it's probably not uh, a terrible option. I would say it's probably, like, all right, you know? So, the traction is actually feeling really, really good. It surprised the hell out of me. Uh, again, I don't know what it is with Chinese companies, but they're, they're giving us really sticky rubbers or something. Whatever they're using for the rubber compound... Really, really good. All right, as far as the middle of the outsole goes, it says foot hold. It's just a plastic midfoot shank plate. So good for torsion support. And as far as the heel to toe transition goes, uh, here in the heel, we have a nice rounded, nice curved shape and pretty much kind of exposed midsole, kind of. You know what I mean? You would think that it's uh, exposed, but all right. So this plastic thing does cage the cushion. And this is a it's pretty hard plastic and it reminds me a lot of the ac11 or it looks very similar to the ac11 or the jordan 36 and but the, those were actually like soft right this is actually pretty hard plastic so that kind of sucks but anyways it's still like it still has nice compression it's soft so here in the heel feels nice and then the forefoot we have a nice rounded and curved shape and a good amount of forefoot flex but uh good torsion support there's no a flex here in the midfoot so overall heel to toe transition feels very very smooth and now moving on to the cushioning setup i honestly i have uh not a whole lot of idea with what's going on with the cushioning setup just because there's very very limited information on the cushion right so i apologize if i'm wrong i was i was searching it all over google and the description is not good uh or, or just like there, there's different information on different websites and also it's chinese a lot of the time so uh, i'm not really sure <laughs> what i'm looking at because i'm not chinese uh but as far as the foam goes it says peak tai chi right here right so it says peak tai chi on the plastic and also says p ultralight and then also p soon right here so are they using three different types of foams? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it doesn't really look like it. It looks like they're just using one type of foam, right? But either way, I'm just gonna tell you guys how it feels because obviously that's what's most important because, you know, companies, they can give us a type of foam or a type of cushion and uh, it can feel different in a lot of shoes. You know, for example, like Zoom. Zoom can feel very different if it's top loaded, bottom loaded. Also different types of foam, like even Phylon, there can be stiff Phylon, there can be softer Phylon, uh, you know, Micro G in running shoes and like basketball shoes can feel different. So yeah, the tech can be the same, right? It can be the same, but it can feel different. So uh, as far as how it feels here in the AW1, it feels really, really nice. However, the core fuel is not very good. You're pretty high up off the ground. I feel like Andrew Wiggins probably wanted like a lot of impact protection because he's very athletic, you know what I mean? So there is a good amount of compression here in the heel and Tai Chi is super duper soft, right? So I definitely understand why they caged it this much, but there's still a pretty nice compression. I feel like uh, this is a pretty, this is a good, 
alternative to like just caging the hell out of it. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, here in the heel, yeah, it's soft. And there's nice compression and also step and comfort is great, right? So the insole, the insole is pretty damn nice. It's thick, it's very foamy. Uh, so that improves step and comfort. But also, if you look underneath that, there's like a, it's a very interesting strobe board. It's like a foamy in, a strobe board and that feels really soft as well for uh, underfoot cushion, right? Uh, so yeah, I feel like the cushioning setup is going to be very good, but it doesn't prioritize uh, court feel. I, I feel like they prioritize probably more like a softer feel and also impact protection, which of course uh, it, it's, it's subjective, you know, whatever you like, but for me, I like to have better court feel, uh, but it's not terrible in this shoe. It doesn't feel terrible like LeBron's, like the LeBron 19, 18, 17. So uh, I, I'm pretty uh, excited to try this cushioning setup out, right? And now moving on to the material. So we have like a, a mesh material, right? It does feel pretty plasticky and kind of like flimsy and also pretty cheap, but it's really, really thin. Just look at how thin this material is. It, it, it just moves so easily with my finger, like whenever I press it down, right? And also it doesn't feel super supportive. Uh, not the most supportive type of material. It, there definitely is a little bit of stretch to it, but as you guys can see, we do have a good amount of fuse going around the toe box. So that'll definitely help to uh, add a lot of support, especially look at that. It goes pretty much <laughs> uh, into the entire toe box. It's just like more on the lateral side here that's more soft, right? And also we have this plastic. I don't know why they added so much plastic here, but they also have more plastic here. It kind of goes around the tip of the toe as well and all the way here into the medial side. Um, so there's that. And the, the midfoot stays extremely thin. Uh, the tongue has absolutely no padding zero i guess like whatever the hell this is there's a little bit there but like if you look underneath that there's there's nothing so uh it feels super minimal not cozy at all it's also a half booty construction tongue and then here in the ankle area we have some nice achilles pillows so i definitely do miss achilles pillows i feel like a lot of shoes don't have achilles pillows anymore i feel like you know like a year or two ago maybe even three years ago uh a lot of shoes had Achilles pillows, especially from Chinese companies, but um, nowadays, not really. So it's very, very nice to see. It's refreshing, you know, but it has nice padding. It feels like a, feels more like a memory foam type of gel, right? Uh, so that definitely feels great on the Achilles. It also, of course, improves lockdown. So that feels nice and cozy in the back of the shoe, right? Uh, so yeah, overall, it feels nice kind of so far. I mean, it's just like it's thin, you know, uh, but it definitely feels pretty damn cheap. Uh, especially for kind of like 130 bucks, right? I feel like they could have given us better quality materials. All right, moving on to the fit. So yeah, that is kind of like the downfall right now. It feels really, really bad for me personally. So in my personal opinion and what I like uh, in my ball shoes is to have a very, very snug fit. When I'm wearing casual shoes and I'm just like walking around going out, I, want, I, don't, I don't want a tight fit. I want more of a loose fit, right? But when I'm playing ball, I want a tight fit. So um, here in the AW1, it's very like so damn, look at this. It's so roomy. I can fully, fully curl my toes up in this. So um, yeah, if you have a really, really chonky, thick foot, I guess that's good for you or you want a roomier fit, then that's good. Uh, then you should be okay going true to size. I, I went true to size with these and uh, lengthwise it was okay. Um, but I really don't like the roomy fit here in the toe box. And also, it's also weird because like here in the midfoot, it's really like pretty damn narrow, right? But then widens up here in the forefoot, which also I don't really like. So yeah, it's just, it's, it's not a great fit for me. And that definitely does suck because fit is of course very, very important. But um, I guess two ways to improve that is either double sock or add an insulin, like another insulin to make it a little bit thicker, which I, I don't really really like to do just because I don't feel the cushion as much and you're higher off the ground. Um, but yeah, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Uh, so there's a the fit there, moving on to the support and lockdown. I feel like it's gonna be very, very good, but I am a little bit worried about the, the roomy fit here in the toe box. I feel like my foot is gonna move around inside of the shoe, especially in the forefoot. And also this material doesn't feel super supportive, right? But as far as like, Coming out of the footbed goes, the lateral counters are really good, right? So we have this plastic piece, we have this fuse coming up acting as a sidewall here in the forefoot. Here in the heel, we have the foam coming up acting as a sidewall and we have a crazy internal TPU heel count. It's like super stiff. So uh, lateral containment feels like it's gonna be very good. And lateral stability, uh, there is a nice little outrigger, right? It's sharp and it's a wide base. So that feels like it's gonna be good as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, moving on to the weight though. 
These shoes feel real kind of heavy, actually. Um, maybe like 13, 14 ounces? 13, oh, that's it? 13.12 ounces? That's not heavy at all. I feel like I thought it was gonna be like way heavier. 13.19 ounces. So um, it definitely feels a little chonky though. Uh, it, like, if also, if you look at it, it looks like a little bit more boot-like. You know what I mean? Uh, so uh, traction definitely feels really good. You know, so I really like that, but the cushion, probably not the most responsive, I, I feel like, you know, when, when, when I'm gonna play in it. And also the fit feels very sloppy for me. So we'll have to see how responsive this shoe is. Uh, and now, as far as the aesthetics go, um, I don't know, guys. I, I definitely do like the design, right? And also this color is pretty sick, especially if you look at, look at this kind of like gradient going on here in the upper. It's like purple here, and then it's like blue and the yellow and the gradient here on this plastic and uh, also the gradient kind of here on this plastic in the four foot two. Um, so I do like that, but it's just like, I don't know, it looks like really chonky to me, right? I feel like, you know, the uh, when you design it, when, when the designer kind of drew it on paper, it probably looked dope, but then when they made it, I it looked a little bit chonky, I don't know. But um, I, I feel like it's okay. I feel like it's okay. And also this is weird. Why are there two pull tabs? Look at that, that's weird. Um, but anyways, tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, um, I don't know, I'm a little indifferent right now. There are uh, things that I really like about the shoe, like the traction, and there's some things that I don't like about the shoe, like the fit, the overall material quality, the cushion, or I guess like how high you are up off the ground. Um, so of course, I'm gonna need to play in it and see how I actually think about it. But my first impressions are all right of the AW1. Uh, so anyways, if you guys do want to cop, I try to leave a link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.